Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. And we are just about to let the chickens out. They are very excited to be let out. Hello. All right, come on out. So those of you who uh, may have extra good observational skills may observe that the uh, chicken run here got bigger. It's one cube bigger. And the reason was kind of funny. I uh, had a broken part on this chicken coop and I asked for a replacement and they sent me a box that had the replacement part plus one third of all of the uh, parts that come with this chicken coop. So I had enough panels to construct me an extra cube of run, except I had to do a little bit of modification to kind of uh, make it all fit. But yeah, now this is even bigger and the chickens are much happier. Look at them go. But uh, I didn't want to discuss just them. wanted to give you guys an update uh, on what's been going on and do sort of another uh, Liberty Lessons episode. So uh, sorry about the lack of content on this channel. Let me turn the camera around. There we go. Yeah, sorry about the lack of activity on the channel, but as those of you who actually follow me on Twitter might have noticed, I have been extremely busy, essentially, fighting the government on everything. For those of you who uh, have the benefit of not being in Canada lately, uh, you might not know, but uh, we uh, have continued going crazy with restrictions and passports and mandates just to sort of keep your job. Like, uh, employers have literally been saying, hey, you healthy, young, existing employee, if you don't take this medication that's been available to take for less than a year, you're out of a job. So that's been a little crazy and difficult to accept for me. So uh, I've been fighting everybody that I could, uh, mostly on behalf of my wife, who's a hospital worker, who at the moment doesn't look like she'll be able to keep her job uh, past two or three weeks from now, which is quite the thing. You know, you uh, say that you're short-staffed and all that, and then you fire perfectly competent, capable healthcare workers who are not at risk themselves, even though anybody who's worried about COVID is free to vaccinate themselves and be protected from severe symptoms. It's a very, very odd uh, rights and liberties thing that's going on. So I figured it might be time for another liberty lessons. And what I wanted to talk about today is very related. It's actually the courts. Most people don't fully appreciate the courts. And it's a tough system because anytime you have a court case in front of you as a judge, something is uh, going to be, you know, unresolved. One party, one of the two sides will be left unhappy. So as a result, with many, many thousands of decisions going on every day in a place like Canada, there's bound to be a lot of critics of the justice system. But regardless of that, it is an essential, absolutely essential system that can never be paused or shut down. But in spring 2020, that's exactly what happened. Our court system and many court systems around the world were essentially placed on pause for safety. Now, that can never, ever happen again. And I believe that one of the reasons things got so far out of hand, particularly in spring of 2020 and summer of 2020, as far as restrictions, was because there were no judges to be, you know, putting a check on all sorts of knee-jerk reactions that were going on. We'll use Spain as the example. Spain had horrifically strict lockdowns uh, during the early half of 2020 when we first discovered <laughs> that we had a pandemic going on. The restrictions were in fact so insane that there was a six-week period where people literally couldn't leave their houses. Even children couldn't go and play outside and the whole thing was being enforced uh, by police and the military. I had one uh, grower who was talking to me at the time, who was having some pest control or nutrient issues or something. And I said to him, well, don't worry about it. Just go to the hydroponics store and get this and that, or even a hardware store. And he's like, 
we can't leave the house period it doesn't matter for what other than like groceries everything is closed so we had to like troubleshoot with that guy but this year, quite recently, in fact, the Spanish Supreme Court ruled that those lockdowns and the way in which they were carried out in 2020 was, in fact, unconstitutional and it shouldn't have happened. And had the courts been operating in Spain at the time, it probably wouldn't have happened or gone down that way and far less collateral damage would have been caused. So today's lesson, I suppose, is the courts respect them. What you definitely don't need to respect is politicians who sell you one line one month and then a whole other line, you know, a few months later. For example, our prime minister in Canada, as recently as six months ago, was saying things like, vaccine mandates is just not the kind of thing we do here in Canada. And now he's the one most aggressively pushing for basically a two-tiered society where if you don't get your vaccine, you can't work, you can't go on a train, you can't take a plane and a variety of other things. So uh, don't trust politicians. Uh, place more trust in the courts because those do better and they're more essential. Anyway, that's it for the quick update today. I'm gonna keep on keeping an eye on the chickens here. Looks like they're in their sand bathing area. Uh, if this was useful, subscribe, hit that like button. We'll see you all next time, hopefully a bit more frequently once uh, all this madness is behind us. Bye-bye.